Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month kicks off tomorrow, and two sisters in Fort Thomas have an important message about how to keep fighting the disease. Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares their story in today's Medical Edge. Happy birthday to you. When you sit and watch this video with Sydney and Hannah Gronek, it's hard not to see and feel the love they share for their dad, Rick. Three months ago, Rick died of pancreatic cancer. He survived more than two years, however, following diagnosis. Pancreatic cancer, everyone you know, thinks of it as a death sentence, basically, but um, that's not how it was with my dad, though. It was kind of just like another chance to live even more. The girls say their dad taught them how to keep fighting. As you can see, the slogan stuck. We turned it into like our family saying, like he was a fighter and I'm going to be a fighter. After more than a thousand people attended their dad's layout and funeral, just to see that many people, how he's touched their lives, it makes me feel like I need to do the same thing. Part of the reason they are sharing their story, however, is that this is a cancer that doesn't get a whole lot of attention. We don't really know what causes it, and we need more research for it. So we stopped out to talk to specialists to find out just what kind of a difference it would make as more of us know more about this cancer. There's so many things we eat and drink and breathe. Uh, cigarette smoking has been associated with pancreas cancer, uh, but there's, there's a lot of research going on trying to find out more specifically what causes are. Dr. Bill Barrett of the Barrett Cancer Center says, and the problem is with pancreas cancer, typically there are not any symptoms until the disease very often has spread beyond the pancreas and, and is incurable. In the meantime, for Sydney and Hannah, here's what they want you to know. It's good to talk about it because like everybody hears about breast cancer and but pancreatic cancer really isn't known until you know someone who's diagnosed with it. I don't want people to feel like cancer is a death sentence. I want them to feel like it's a chance to fight, just like he did. In Fort Thomas, Liz Bonus, Local 12 News.